Well, uh, to start with the beginning, I was uh, I found out about the case and I was fascinated by the death through hunger strike. I mean, you can contemplate your body dying. You see, you are you are you are dead before you are really dead. So it's a, usually people die in some seconds or are ill and just go, but. While you make hunger strike, it is a long period where you are watching you dying, and that's what that if you have the power to go on and not to stop it because it's a huge instinct to to come back to life and to say uh, maybe next time let's uh, let's eat let's now wait, yeah. <laughs> let's wait and eat eat and die tomorrow <laughs> not today. I I was uh, I mean. There are no heroes in our basic society. I don't want to say that Krulik was a hero in in the way he because he didn't fought for a great cause or something like that. But he gave his life for what he believed. And if you say who's giving, who's dying for what he believes, there are so few people in which you can say these are so for me, it was, it was, Krulik was during his life someone who was not at all, was taken into attention by anyone. No one would have write a word about him. Or it, he was so small, he, he could have said, why do you kill me? I'm small, so small. <laughs> but in, in the same time, he proved in the way he died, that he was much more than a lot of others. Um, so I felt, I mean, I was attracted. Usually it's something like that. You, you are attracted, you don't know what you will do. And I started to dig. In the beginning, I didn't know where I will arrive. And every, everyone said it's a dangerous, you know, it's a dangerous uh, problem. How can you deal with this investigation? Or, and in the same time as I was much more attracted by this, uh, the other levels of the story, not of the investigation, but I knew that I, I had to know first everything and then to make the story. So anyway, I made my investigation. So I made a documentation for, for more than a year and I had to meet a lot of people and to see, to read a lot of, of papers on the files. and. I wouldn't be fine by the way he lived. He yes. was a hero by the way he died. Yes, I, you can say that he's a symbol of modern immigrants, but he's even more because we really... This immigrant is someone who's not like us. You say it's not, it's not Romanian, why should I care? Or it's not Italian, why should I care? And in the same time, we don't think that we are... Uh, First of all, people, and it's, it's the same. It may happen, then we will say, he's not from my town, or he's not from my city, why should I care, or something like that. And it's just our way of thinking. If it's not me, why should I care? Why should I care? Mm -hmm. So it's more than, I mean, of course, the immigrant is someone who's not me, obviously not me. But you can go farther, you can say, okay, it's not, if it's not me, a lot of, but it's me. You are me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe that life is complex. I don't believe that um, life has... Own, and this is what, I mean, this is in a way Romanian and this is also this irony. Uh, we laugh when we have problems, you know. And this makes life complex and this makes life a tragic story can be told crying from the very beginning it, it, it has no strength in, mm -hmm. in telling it. it it's much more it's much more powerful if you mix these emotions you can cry more <laughs> if you and I also believe in complexity I don't believe in, in, in when you say this is sad no this is this is sad and funny and, and we can also add, add different emotions to create a, a universe. You can't say 
And of course, when then in the end, when you cry, you real cry. You cry. You cry is real. <laughs> there are many elements yeah. in life, and there yeah, are sure, many sure, elements sure, in your sure, film sure. as well. In the beginning, it was impossible. I mean. <laughs> You couldn't uh, get access to any documents, and it was also, I think that the first year after his death, they were also frightened that we will tell bad things, and also for the Polish journalist, there was only a Polish journalist who, who read the files, it was the journalist who discovered the case, and after she read the files, they, they uh, closed them and they didn't let access let be access even from the Polish journalist and uh, there was a Romanian journalist who was in Poland that asked for uh, seeing up. it was also impossible for him in just close to his death I mean the three or four months they didn't let anyone to see them and I felt when I was uh, in June I mean they really, it was obvious that they wouldn't let me even think about uh, So I, I met the journalist who saw them and she gave me some information. But in the end, of course, um, what she noted, what she remembered, there were some missing things and I wanted to see the files. And after a year, after they made uh, their investigation and they said nobody's guilty beside the doctor who may be, gui be guilty, they were much more relaxed. And also here was the point where uh, the movie was already a co-production with Paula. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time when I was accompanied by uh, my co-producer, it wasn't just a point of, well, it's a movie, Polish Film Institute finance it, it's um, much it more... easier, a little easier to... Uh, yeah, much more easier to say, because it's not only uh, a foreigner, uh, Romanian, who may say bad things about the uh, poor Romanians who sure. died in their place. They defend their country. I mean, I, I, what I felt, even they defend more than Romanians. We Romanians are not so um, defending Romania, so uh, for they always, they never let anyone say to say bad things about uh, Poland. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, in a way, I appreciate their attitude. They love their country, and they are also proud of it. And uh, we are. Um, not we are you, you won't hear the um, Romanian saying um, well Romanian is great but in fact sometimes we feel that it it we got something special from Romania mm -hmm. <laughs> because we are Romanians and uh, uh, in the same time uh, they say what should we care and finance and take our time to do such a movie that says, says bad things about us. And in the same time, the Romanians were also uh, in the same boat because they were afraid that I will say bad things of the, about the foreign minister who didn't care. And yeah. They were also, they had their part in, in this tragedy. I mean, yes. there were actors. Okay. <laughs> and. Of course, you can say, I have done nothing, I just, uh, I mean, the consul can say, uh, I didn't kill him, I, I just answered, I didn't know, or something like that, I couldn't imagine, or, but anyway, he received the letter, even if uh, you always try to think that someone is guilty before you, he, he, it is proved that he is, uh, he, you, need you to must. You, you must. Yeah, it's someone who's asking for help, even if. I'm close. I mean, I'm expressing my thoughts and my projects uh, through the forms of art, which are. I mean, I made documentaries when the topic was I make fiction if the topic is fiction I'm not and if you look at my documentaries there are not that all of them are have 
let's say a view on the topic I have made. I'm, I'm, I don't like to make a real documentary, I mean, an mm -hmm. investigation or this kind of National Geographic or yeah, sure. I'm, I'm very f far from, from I just thought if someone would pay me to do it I wouldn't know to do it because it's, mm -hmm. not, it's not what um, so I I was very happy when I uh, choose in the beginning I wanted to make a docudrama I thought a journalist should go and interact with your people, not knowing that we should. And but when I made my investigation, I, I just realized that they will, they don't say what they 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 say things that they are not at all interesting. They just hide it behind words. They are not. To, so I stood with them quite a lot, and what was important was not in what they. Say, but what I understood behind the words and so it was it would have been a loss of time and I also I realized that the most important things were not known and were in in Krulik's grave so I took him from the grave in a way yes, 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 and told good. the story from his point of view not at all um, um, let's say um, history in the animation uh, is very very you have uh, some small small short uh, films and there was it's more than 20 years since no long feature mm -hmm. was done oh. and so it's not a tradition it's not um, it's more in Poland <laughs> it's more traditional in yes, animation yes, <laughs> than in Romania so you couldn't say I'm going to the studio because they work in that way, but in a way, for me, this is good because I I believe that um, when you people are not are doing for the first time, give more energy because they are not doing it in how they learn to do it. Mm -hmm. They are exploring. They are um, trying to invent because they are fresh in, in yes. thinking. Yes. And so um, I'm in the beginning. I met several people uh, with whom I. Um, there are some small teams of, of people who are making animation, but uh, these guys were doing the credit for my long feature film, mm -hmm. which was. They are usually making special effects or small things and for commercials, uh, um, credits, special effects, something like that. But. Um, uh, so it was their first long feature project of animation, and they. So you had a lot of work to do to uh, keep them together and uh, make them go, make them go your way also. Yes, but it was also. I mean, uh, of course, um, I'm happy that I, they will work together from now on because they liked each other. And I'm happy that uh, I finally it was a good choice. I, I mean, it, it was only the instinct to say because there were similar situations, there were similar studios, small studios where you, I could go. And I think that this was the best choice. And I had no proofs in the beginning that it is no. the be best choice. But it just was. It was a risk. <laughs> yeah, it was a risk. <laughs> It wasn't from the very beginning. Uh, I wanted to mix real elements. I, the collage was in the beginning, mm -hmm. but I didn't think that we will use so many techniques <laughs> in the end. But uh, in the beginning was a choice. I mean, when we when we realized that we are not we, there are five people who has have done all the animation, a long picture animation making made by five guys. So. It was a huge amount of work and we realized that we can't do in and it was a lot of handmade things. Mm -hmm. There were drawing uh, frame by frame. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so it was quite a lot of work to be done in, in such a small team and we realized if they told me if we don't mix the techniques we, we won't be able to finish it in two or three years or something mm -hmm. like that. 
And then we, when we made this choice to mix techniques, I said, let's make that. I have a like concept on, idea. if I can have a concept on this, this would work. And we made a concept that the materialization and the, the line and everything should, should tell the story. He, he's a famous actor. Mm -hmm. He's uh, known for four months, three weeks, two days. Mm -hmm. he, play, he was in Cannes with three or four times. He's not. He's a he's a star in Romania. I mean, uh, and uh, when I was thinking at the voice of Kuli, he's also born in a city near Kulik uh, town, and so he's from north part of Moldavia. He understands also the feeling of the region, and he's a huge actor. I mean. I didn't uh, had while I worked at this movie. I had to fight almost with everyone to bring them to my ideas. With him, was so easy because he just we worked, we met several times, but he was just constructing and going. I mean, he's a kind of guy who who is just. Uh, I mean, it's a blessing to work with him. And when we made the, we made just two recordings, you could use one from the beginning to the end. Oh. And but I, I, we made a second one saying, just, Vlad, you, you are too serious. You don't care. You are dead. And so we, we made another one. And I took the second one from the beginning to the end. He was his, his, his. I mean. I, he's just uh, gorgeous. For me, I'm very happy now that um, I'm uh, making movies in Romania because it's a very creative moment. Mm -hmm. it's, from the point of view of production, it, it, it's an adventure because nothing works to that nobody wants that someone is doing the movie and the financing system is really unpredictable you don't know when it will be a contest uh, at the national center in cinema and when you will get money and how long it will it will take since it, you will be financed but at from the creative point of view we are I, we are some somewhere i don't know how how long it will keep this creative moment, but there are not one or two or three, there are many. I mean, Hello. you feel and also there are another level of gener the next generation, you feel that, and also now, luckily, mm -hmm. there are different styles. I, I'm, I don't like to do movies in the um, Romanian New Wave style. And for me, I mean, Christy Puyo is uh, the one who brought this uh, new wave cinema. Yes. He was a fan of Eric Romer. Mm -hmm. He studied uh, in Genève mm -hmm. cinema, and he 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 was the one who brought this new wave label. Uh, uh, that's, uh... Uh, this is, I mean, it's great when uh, someone change the style because you start to think we must be free and not to do in the same way okay. and uh, after I mean there are a lot of directors who are working in his style of this new way of mm -hmm. cinema but now there are also directors who don't work in this new way of cinema and you feel that there will appear different styles of movie and I mean, I think that this is real, really hell. Uh, I mean, you can go on if you are not repeating yourself. Yeah. I was asked, uh, your next movie will be an animation. I said, uh, thanks God, no, because <laughs> I will do the same thing. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm not going to repeat myself. I mean, and I'm searching, I'm really searching new ways of telling stories, not to... Uh, not to repeat your uh, style forever. Because uh, you may have a successes and say, let's do the same thing, the 
second time. It's a huge uh, risk. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Many yeah. people do this. No, I mean, I mean, for me, it has no. It's no fun to. to yeah, I can imagine. And I can't. If I don't feel this, um, that I must. There's a movie that I must tell, and I, I can't do movies. So I. In a way, you can consider that I'm not a professional because I can't do any movie, sure. <laughs> and I must do the movie that I have an urge to do it. <laughs> sure. For me, what what I was surprised, I mean, Krulik is also, um, I'm, he's from the north part of Moldavia, and perhaps the north part of Moldavia is a little bit. Mm -hmm the top of the irony. In the same time, I think that the irony is m in Romania more at the language level. I mean, you speak, you, you, it's just, we make fun of everything, we talk a lot, like, we are Latin people. <laughs> and sometimes, I, I think that, I mean, my next feature project is written by an Irish who lives in Bucharest. Mm -hmm. And it was written in English. Mm. I translated it in Romanian for for financing, and it's impossible. I mean, it's not the movie that uh, book is in want? English. Uh -huh. So I decided to use English language, but I'm, because it's an Irish and it's an autobiographical story, it's a very strong pressure on me because I don't want to make an English movie just to enter the English market. It's just I want to stick to a real character who is mm -hmm. an Irish who lives in Bucharest or something and translating in Romanian this a Romanian always make don't say things through words, they they make only fun and I had I when I, I adapted the Romanian version of uh, the script to, to be to be possible to, to for, for the financing because this is not the way Romanians speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's too different. Yeah, it's totally. There was a huge interest, I mean, a huge interest for, from my point of view. I, I, when I was doing Git, I never thought what will happen. And uh, then we put for financial reasons uh, the first five minutes on Vimeo. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first month were uh, with password, just for fin financing. Uh, institutions and, and then a journalist asked me please take the password out I want to put for my audience this uh, teaser or something. and we took out the password and we got such a good uh, feedback from young audience and also now uh, I mean it's the best uh, distribution I could have dreamt about in Romania mm -hmm. and um, it will. It has also word sales, uh, wide management. So um, there are people in Poland. It will have cinema distribution, television distribution. Also television also. in Poland. Okay. I mean, you make a movie that people. You you are happy if the the movie is seen by many. It's just. It's not about. It's just about telling the story to a bigger audience than. And. For me, I'm not making my movies for my family, so sure. I'm and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> when they say, oh, "What a good director you are!" <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> so I'm happy that it has a larger audience than, than I imagine, and that's it is already invited to a lot of festivals. Yeah. We have to choose between festivals. Mm. It's a good. I mean, it's well when you can choose and not sure. uh, ask. <laughs> or follow. And, yes. and so I'm, I'm. Let's hope you you know. It's just like you see your child uh, walking out from your home. Yeah. I'm watching what life um, he will get. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, a very good one, a very long one. I hope. I hope so. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs>